Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here in a brand new game for the channel, The Walking Dead, The Game. It's another Telltale game. You guys seem to really have liked the Jurassic Park game, so I thought we'd keep it rolling here with uh, The Walking Dead. It's an older game. It's been out for a while. Uh, I actually played this when it first came out, so I kind of remember some of it. But this will be a good trip down memory lane for me, and I think you guys are going to enjoy the content as well. Well, so it's a little bit episodic. Uh, we'll pop over here. So there's going to be five episodes, at least in the game. I'll probably break some of these episodes up into multiple episodes. Then there's a special episode, 400 Days. And then after that, there's a couple, I think there's two other games or three other games that if this does well, we can check those out as well. And here in this photo, we can see the main character, Lee and Clementine in the background. So I'm excited for you guys to experience with these, with this, experience this with me again. So I think that's enough talking. Let's go and hop on in and see what The Walking Dead, the game, has to offer for us. Oh, as you can see, apparently I have some saves. Wow. Um, over a year ago. Well over a year ago I played this. Let's go ahead and we'll start a new game here. Go ahead and click play there. Uh, let's see. Choose a display style. Standard, minimal. Um, we'll do let's do standard here uh just because i think that will be that'll be better oh god we still got more things to pick from okay so episode one a new day let's go ahead and play that so as we get going here you know let me know in the comments on down below what you guys are think is going to happen i know we haven't seen anything uh but i'd love to hear from you guys let me know what's going on in your life anything like that i'd love to hear about that as well Got some uh, ominous music going on here in the background. The Walking Dead. I actually remember watching the first episode on TV when uh, they, they showed it in black and white. It was Halloween, and I can't remember what year. I was in high school when they first showed it. Got the new day again here. Zipping along in a, a cop car. So, similar to the Jurassic Park game, uh, we'll be making some decisions both in how we communicate and our actions uh, And it's a persistent environment. So things are remembered uh, by people and the environment So it's not like you know, there's a, a railroad track that we will have to follow uh, It's uh, a little bit of a railroad track, but well, not too much I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. All right, so what do you say that uh, do you know what he's reckoning does it really matter uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with this. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Hmm. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Let's see, are you got an opinion? Uh, let's go with the top one again. For making then. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the seventies. Always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect, a real shame that is. Hmm. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Be advised, uh, medical personnel and route to Hartfield, various tents and twenty coming in. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Ooh, that was a sour note there for Lee. Uh... Sure. Hmm. A little poutiness in that lip there. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Or be, could be I did, or maybe she ran the wrong guy. We'll go with this one. Riot in progress. All officers are available for incoming 217. Rolling calls 
Oh, and there's a helicopter coming by, too. Things you can't control. The end of the world. The zombies are coming after Atlanta. They're building that up. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. What was that? That was a bunch of garbage on the road there? Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. <laughs> So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Uh. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, <laughs> stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. This is looping. We already saw this. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit What's this? Someone crossing the road. Look out. Look out. Watch out. Oof. Jesus. Holy heck. What a way to start the game though. Oh, we got some walkers outside the car already. Sounds like uh, Officer Friendly's not doing very well. Come on, Lee. Get up, Lee. Lee, wake up. Hmm, surprised they let us keep our watch there. That's a hell of a gash there. Where's the shotgun at? Uh, he did not. Oh, there's the shotgun. Okay, use the mouse to look around and find a way out of the car. So we need to look at the shotgun. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. How do we get out of the car? Okay, we're going to kick the window out. All right, another good kick there. Come on, Lee. There we go. All right, now move forward using W. I need to drag myself out that window. All right, Lee, you got this, man. All right, look at the door. Use the mouse wheel. Climb out. All right. Watch the glass. Don't cut yourself, man. Easy peasy. Oh, that's a steep embankment there. Oof. Alright, uh, using it on the car. Alright, let's limp our way over there. There's the shotgun. Probably gonna need that here in a few seconds. Come on, Lee. No, get the shotgun, Lee. Uh, Alright, take shotgun shell. Look yeah, at shotgun. shotgun let's go ahead and grab that shotgun in case... Looks empty. It'll yep. be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Oh, they don't want me to grab it yet. Alright, can we grab these shells over here? Let's grab these shells. That just sounds painful on the old leg there. Alright, is there anything else we can explore? We picked up the shotgun shells. Alright, let's go uh, look at the body here, see if we can get some keys off him. Take our cuffs off. Excuse me, take our cuffs off. Officer? God damn. Officer? And uh, we gotta go around him here? There we go. There's the keys. Uh, I think we're gonna get a little jump scare here. No? I thought he'd move when we uh, tried to grab the keys there. Oh, of course. Oh. Um, hmm. Come on. Alright, 
Let's try this again. There you go, Lee. Good job. Officer. Oh, that! Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. All right, let's get away from here. What in the hell? Yeah, it's a zombie, Lee. We need that shotgun. Get away from me! All right, let's rack around. Shoot. Get the, get the round. Come on, Lee. Rack it. All right. Oh, wow. What a shot. There she is. There she is. Clem, Clem. What's going on? Oh, we got friends coming. Alright, Lee. Time to move. Come on, get up. We gotta go. Quite a few friends. Missing a little bit of its arm there. Let's go, Lee. Come on. Hop that fence. They're gonna come bursting through the fence here in a second. Some more gunfire. A lot of smoke there in the background. Alright, so we're back in control here. Can I zoom in? Alright, let's uh let's go check this treehouse out. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This <laughs> leg the way it is. Anybody up there? No? Alright. Uh, little tea set. Have some tea. I actually had a glass of tea before I uh, started recording here. One of those teacups with some bourbon, if I could. Help! All right. I'm. A, I think we have to get yeah into the house here. Take a dip in the pool. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. <laughs> he was thirsty. Let's drink out of the the hose there. Maybe I should just. Check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Yeah, that, that looks like that's a heck of a car accident out there. All right, let's Somebody hobble no, ourselves up this me. fence or this uh, stair here. Thirsty, Lee? Come on, you said you were thirsty. All right, let's take a peek through here. Home. I wonder if anybody's home. All right, well, we're just going to say that instead of looking. All right, let's go ahead and open the door, see what's Hello. going on. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and open it. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't look good in the kitchen. These people might need more help than I do. All right, we got a coloring book. We got some fruit. I wonder if it's fake fruit. 
A lot of blood over there. It's fake. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> Jeez. That's... There's some small f handprints in there. That's uh, not good. A little unicorn. All right, let's um, apparently slip on the blood. Oh, good. Now we're covered in blood. Um, a lot of footprints going to over there. Is that the phone ringing? Cup of water. There you go. Lee, get you a drink of water there. Let's see. Open this drawer. See if there's anything in there. No clue what that is. Ooh, a radio. That might have been what's chirping. Okay, we'll hang on to that. Nice. Oh, no, it wasn't the radio. What do we got here? Whole lot of nothing. This drawer here. More nothing. The Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. I guess we're just going to... new messages. All right, well, we'll get to those messages in a second. I'm ransacking the cupboards. Hold on. I don't know if we're going to find anything, but my, uh, my need to know is greater than figuring out the answering machine. Whole lot of nothing. Okay, I guess we're coming, coming to answer... Or look at the answering machine. Calm down. All right, don't slip on the blood again. All right. Let's see. Look at answering machine. Let's try this. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Dang. Three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Uh, let's go with I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. Good. Uh, let's go with What's this. your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Um, where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? The boats? Uh, where are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh, there's Sandra. Uh, Q, 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 Q. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Oof. Don't slip. Oh, you slipped again. And, oh, you hit your head, Lee, my man. All right, um, kick. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, come on. Ooh, another solid punch. Clementine with the hammer. Ooh. 
All right, some more queuing here. Come on, come on, come on. Hammer. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. Go to town, Lee. One more. Wow. Goodbye, Sandra. At least what's left of Sandra. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Um, I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um... We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Aww. Stay close to me. God, I forgot how good this game was. The storytelling, the graphics, the action. All fantastic. Alright, let's hobble Lee's butt on over to the gate, I think. Unless we're going to go through the garage? No. Alright, we're going to go through the gate. Where all the car accidents are at. Oh, we got someone out over there. I yell to them. Looks like they're trying to clear the way. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Don't want to miss hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Uh, I won't leave you alone. They won't. Uh, I'll right. leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? What's going on? We're looking for we help. help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. <laughs> I'm Sean. Sean Green. <gasps> this Sean is Green. Okay. Hopefully you guys know who that name, the Green name is. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Uh, go with a neighbor. a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. All right, time to push. Come on. A little bit more. Come on. There you go, Clem. Come on, Clem, push. Is that it? All right, in the truck. Oof. Were any of those guys neighbors too? 5240, 5240. She keeps looking at the address sign. Uh, 
All right, I think we're almost to the, what they say we're going to their farm. It's got to be who I think it is. We're going to find out here in a few seconds. Let me know in the comments down below if you know where we're going. I think I know where we're going. Based on the last name. Hey, Sean. I'm going to run on home. My mama's going to be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I think that's who I it is. It'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Um, boy's a lifesaver. Boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Thank you, Clem. Coming through strong. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Oh, I think we're about to get grilled. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hurts like hell, it's not too bad. Let's go with that. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Uh, we'll go if it's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Yes. How'd this happen? Uh, jump in the fence. We'll go if car, car accident. accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Home out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. <laughs> uh. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Hmm. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay. That'd be pretty. <laughs> There's blankets and such. Uh. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. All right, let's go hunker down in the barn, shall we? It smells like... Manure. Manure? <laughs> like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. 
I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> mm. Some nightmares there, Lee. Some nightmares. Hey. All right. Well, I think that's a fantastic place to go ahead and pause here. Pretty good start to the Walking Dead game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed recording it and talking over it for you. If you've liked this content and you want to get more of it on time in an orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Go ahead and leave me a comment on down below what you think is going to happen now that we've got a good taste of what's going on in the Walking Dead universe with Lee and Clementine and Herschel Green and Sean. Uh, we might, the, the next character, I'm not going to spoil his name yet, but he's a pretty cool character that we're about to meet. Uh, and don't forget to like the video. Uh, I'd really appreciate all the likes, the subscribes, the comments, everything you guys have been doing recently. It really uh, keeps the, the passion going for this. So I'll see you guys in the next Walking Dead, the game video. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, the video game. Thank you so much for joining me here on Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. The first video has been doing fantastic. I appreciate all the comments, the likes, and everything you guys have been doing so far. Now, you're not here to hear me talk, so let's go ahead and hop on into the game. We'll do a little exploring here as Lee. Let's see what um, hey there, these girl. folks have to say. Let's go ahead and go with this. Actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here. Clementine is a first grader. Uh, so let's go with uh, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Oh, how wrong they are. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. All right, and then we'll ask I how the city was. The city. Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and 
we just passed people over some just just uh, it's okay it's fine you don't have to say anymore i want to go home tomorrow but even then i can't take away the things we the things doc went through don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this hmm uh when i was in the cop car probably not this could all be providence you know not what we saw you just never realize when something is happening to you what you're being given maybe this will all work out your optimism is refreshing new these past couple days at least back in a bit okay hmm. Lee. all right can we go in the barn let's see if we can go check the barn out probably not the camera's not letting me oh well yeah we can go in the barn here we go let's see what we got in here we got our our bed rolls but okay not much else we can do in there uh, let's go back and talk to Kenny. I think he was working on his truck or something. We still got that bandage around his leg. Doesn't look like it's terrible. All right, let's uh, let's look at the truck here. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. All right, let's see what Kenny has hey, to say here. Kenny. Um, uh, let's go. With need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? <laughs> we'll go with no kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. <laughs> Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Get out on the water. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ... Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. All right, Kenny. I believe in you, man. From what I remember, you are a uh, you're a heck of a guy. All right, let's go see if we can get through the front door. No, we can't go up on the porch. We'll go check out. I think this is like a chicken coop or a chicken pen over here. Um. Not much we can do over here. And then there's Duck sitting on the, the tractor. So we'll head on back here and see uh, see what's going on. Let's take a look at the tractor here. I guess that's all we can do. Um, can we talk to Sean? Uh, let's, talk with, let's talk with Duck first, shall we? Now we're just giving away. If he's up there having a good old time. All right, what do you got How to say, doing, Duck? Duck? <laughs> Alright, let's see what Sean has to say here as he's building this fence. Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Alright, we're gonna do ourselves a little manual labor here and cut a, a two by four into whatever length he needs. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? 
Um, Let go with this one. Make it, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. No problemo. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. <laughs> anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right, let's go help Herschel in the barn, shall we? Walk on over there. Oh, that was a, that was a quick transfer. All right, my man Herschel, what do you got? How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh, I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Looking for help in her house, was being attacked, and she came to my rescue. Let's go with that. being attacked, and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities. Or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> Wait, what? Go! I'll get my gun! What'd you do? Oh, what's going on here? Duck, what'd you do? No, 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 no. Duck, no. Um, the, the boy. Um, the boy. What do I do? Hit him with the hammer? Beatbox him in. Come on. Come on, Lee. There you go. Now we gotta save Sean. Get Duck out of there. Sean. Sean, Sean, Sean. Alright, we gotta... Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. We need to get out of dodge. Time for us to go. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. All right, folks, it's time to go. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, heck, that was awfully tense. Well, 
This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. So if this is Macon, I think they said Lee's family owns like a drugstore or something in Macon. There it is. Okay. Lee Everett. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh, I'm gonna say they're not friendly. Fuck. And there's quite a few of them. Several of them. Oh good, we woke woke up the neighborhood. Who has a gun? Who's this chick? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. No, you're actually in my parents' drugstore. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Where's Duck? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Clem just ran out there. I don't give a fuck. Oh, where are you going, Clem? We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. Um. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Hmm. Damn right. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Oh, we're going to go with this here in a second. It's a big deal. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're going to whoop me? You and one homo parade. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm going to kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. <laughs> hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No, we're tossing you out. Uh, oh, hit him, Kenny, hit him. This guy out. Happily. Jesus. Get him, Kenny. Oh, Wait, what? No, Clem. Oh, come on. What's this? Clem. Go, Clem. Go. Get him, Lee. Get her, Lee. Wait, what happened? No, Lee, get up. Lee, get up. Lee, get up. What do I gotta do? Lee? There we go. Come on, Lee. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Uh, 
Q, 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 Q. Come on, Lee. Come on, you got this, Lee. Lee, come on. Uh, oh, thank God. Oh. Thank you. You okay? Just great, thanks. Could have pistol whipped it, but we'll take that too. Uh, guys. Ooh, we got company. Everybody down. Stay quiet. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Ooh, automatic fire. Is that the military? I don't know. Or your local oh, redneck militia. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, oh, Dad! Is he having a heart attack? Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Um, you know where you're at. your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's hmm. right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Thanks, Doug. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, Carly, Doug. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> you got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Kenny's in charge. Very nice. All right, so let's uh, got some newspapers and things like that. But I think this is a fantastic stopping point for the video. We've had quite a few things happen here in the Walking Dead game. Uh, rather exciting, and i uh, excited to see the next episode. So if you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to like. Give me a comment on down below what you've liked about this video, what you think is going to happen next here in Macon with Lee and Clementine and everyone else, Kenny, Katya, Duck, the group, the gang. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. That first video has been doing well, so let's keep it going in this second video. If you want to make sure you get the third video on time and in an orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time. And like I said, in an orderly fashion. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in The Walking Dead, the game, the game made by Telltale. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we got Lee here, our main character, and his next mission is to figure out how to get back into the pharmacy. He's got to get some medicine, some nitroglycerin for the guy that's being a jerk to us. So, let's, uh, he said there was a way through the office. Let's check out the ATM. Um, Glad this place didn't get looted. All right, so it hasn't been looted that badly. There's an energy bar here. We'll grab that, put that in our inventory. In case Lee gets hungry here in a little bit. Got Clementine here. Let's see what she has to say. She's got the radio. We sent that one guy out uh, to go get some gas because we need to get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, looks like we can talk to her or give her the, the energy bar. Let's start by talking to Clem. Hi. Uh, let's see. I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Oh, perfect. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. But I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. 
Well, that was one of the most awkward conversations. Uh, nothing from Glenn yet. Let's see. Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. All right, okay. and then we'll go ahead and give her the energy bar here, seeing as we uh, listen to what she had to say. Here you go. Thank you. Of course. We took care of Clementine. All right, so we've got uh, another energy bar here. We'll grab that. I wonder if anyone else is going to be a little hungry. Let's see if we got any loot over here that we can grab. Can we get along here? Nothing popping up along here. That's fine. So we've got Lily here, and we've got her dad, whose name I can't remember. Let's go ahead and talk to Lily. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Larry. Okay. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Uh, let's go with, what's, what's wrong, with him? wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, he can help by being quiet. Um... You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. <laughs> you? I work up at UGA. Uh, was anyone here when you guys got to the pharmacy? Let's go with this one. anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? No, because this yeah, might be Lee's family. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. <laughs> I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh, that's not good. Uh, what do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Ain't that the truth. Uh, we're gonna ignore he's got a temper, because I feel like that might set him off. Uh, let's go ahead and back out. Sounds good. But we're not gonna give them the energy bar. That's gonna go probably to... There's the office. Um, ooh, there's another energy bar. Let's grab that. I'd like to give it to Duck and Kenny. Because, uh, you know, they kind of helped us out of the farm. We can't let anything Ice cream menus. I know, hon. Some more stuff over here we can look at. We've got some greeting cards. This guy, what's his name? Doug. And we got the cork board. Some newspapers. And then we'll check the food box. I doubt there'll be anything in it, but let's check it. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hmm. All right, and then we'll take a peek at the newspaper. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. Hmm. <laughs> All right, and we've got a radio here with Carly. What do you got to say, Carly? Yeah, pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Hmm. <laughs> uh, handle yourself you well. Handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. My asshole. Uh, that guy saved that you. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are, they were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. Carly, in the middle of the end of the world, thinking about love. Um, how'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. And then what are you working on here? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. All right, Lee, what do you got? Um... Flip the radio over, flip the radio over, volume power. Okay, it's not going to be as easy as power. My guess is the batteries are bad. Well, we'll put the antenna up. 
And then let's take a gander at the batteries. No batteries. Okay, so we got to find some batteries. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Some double A's. Okay, well, I bet you those are going to be in the office. Take a peek at the cork board and then we'll talk to Doug. Easter egg hunt. So we know it's kind of like March, April. All right, Doug, what do you got to say? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Want to step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Um, sure, let's have a look around. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. Thems are some walkers there, huh? Power's still on. That's always a good sign. They're munching down on whoever that was. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. Got a furniture store, they eat. office supplies. Whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Hmm. Yeah, I think so too. All right, let's take a peek around. We got a brick, bunch of walkers, electronic warehouse. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. <laughs> Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. All right, we got the <clears throat> excuse me, the hardware store. I can open the lock. We're not going to do that. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. Okay, so we got the lock. We've got the trapped walker. The one trapped over there. What's that say? <gasps> Better him than us, huh? B. Everett. No. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Is that his brother? Do you know that guy? Could be the kind of his face, you know, he's just dead. Um, has a familiar face. It's either his brother or his right dad. Now. Could be anybody, you know. Oh. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Oh, that's so sad, Lee. The uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Hmm. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Well, that's disappointing to say the least. Boarded up window. Hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Alright, so, and then... I think that's everything. Let's just go ahead and grab the brick now. Okay, so let's... Okay, we'll talk to Doug. You should... Uh, how'd you end up here? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. It says Everett on it. Lee, oh, it is Lee's brother. Prove that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Alright, so let's... We probably gotta go back inside. Um, let's just ask Doug how'd you end up here. Tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. <laughs> what about you? Grew up here. I know some folks here. Just ended up here. We'll go if I grew up here. here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Good people. All right, let's go back inside. Um, let's head back inside. We'll talk to Kenny, Duck, and Katya, and then we'll try and get in the office. But I would suspect that office is going to be locked, and then we'll have to 
figure out a way how to get the keys off our brother. Um, let's see, here we go, photographs. So that's gonna be how we prove that that's our brother and the keys are probably on him. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> no, no indeed. Another, oh, battery. There we go. Let's walk around, grab that battery. Back to Fort Lauderdale. Is it both of them or just one? Just one. Okay, so we got to keep an eye out for one more battery here. All right, what's the newspapers got to say here? Nothing. All right, some more photographs. Try to get some rest, hon. All right, let's talk to the family here. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. No problemo. All right, let's go up. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Um, she's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Let's go. What's, What's the plan? That? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Uh, yeah, we might as well tell people at this point. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. <laughs> How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? No, it's not. Pretty fast. Uh, we'll go if it happened pretty it happened fast. Pretty fast, I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. It'll be all right, Kenny. It will be all right indeed. All right, let's give Duck the other energy bar. Or do we have two energy bars? We got two. All right, let's give Duck one. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. All right, we'll take a gander at the ice cream menu. And then let's see if we can get in the office. My guess is not. Oh, we can get in. Okay. We'll probably need the keys to get into the pharmacy then. Clementine's coming in with us. A lot of blood on the ground. Not good. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Alright, let's see what all we can find. Let's take a peek into the alley. Leads to the back alley. Okay, nothing there. All right, what do we got? Some cabinets that we can't get up to. Can't walk on the mattress. Let's take a take a peek at the photo, and then we'll grab the photo, a little family photo. Also proves that our brother out there. Hmm. No, don't rip yourself off, Lee. No. Find anything? Uh, photo of the family owned the place. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. 
Hmm. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. <laughs> Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Um. Uh, no, we told people. It's a popular who's who's ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, <laughs> because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. Dang, Carly, coming out strong. Safe. How can I trust you? Uh, let's go. How can I trust How you? How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Dang. Alright, well, let's keep looking around here. We'll move this pallet. Gotta work our way into the pharmacy. Is that someone's cane? Yep. What's that? I guess that's Lee's that's dad's cane. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. Hmm. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Aww. All right. Um, let's go ahead and move the desk. Clear a path to opening that door. Oh. Let's move the desk. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. All right. Here we go. One, two, Watch three. Fingers in the drawers. Uh, things been scary, huh? How you been doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, we need to check that first aid kit here in a second, too. Do you have kids? No. Nope. You don't have a family? Past tense. Um, let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? What do your parents do? Um... Let's move to... What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> All right, a little further. Lee just doesn't want to talk about it, and that's okay. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? <laughs> Dang, Clem. Uh, I hope not. It's just complicated. I wouldn't blame them. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go if I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Uh, I got in some trouble, but let's keep that between us. Uh, let's go with, um... I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Aw. Ooh, that's a deep okay? cut. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. All right, let's get you patched up. I'll find you a bandage. And hopefully some batteries in that first aid kit. All right, we got a TV up there. Let's go ahead and open the first aid kit. Is there not a battery in there? Uh, Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. All right, let's... Probably in that drawer there. Clementine. 
What's this say? Look. All right, let's patch her up here. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. We're going to amputate it. All right, finger. Let's go ahead and put let's the band-aid on that. Cut covered up. Yes, please. Good as new. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, they'll find they us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. Exactly. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Alright, let's open this drawer, see if there's anything in there. Hopefully a battery? The remote. I don't know what... The re oh, we can take the battery out of the remote. The remote to my dad's TV. Come on, take the battery out, Lee. Alright, um, I don't want to turn that on yet. Let's search this again. Is there a battery or anything in there? Luckily, no. there's nothing I need in here. Alright. Well, um, let's try the office door. That's we'll look. the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yeah, but now we need the keys. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Alright, so we gotta go back out. I don't want to turn the TV on. Um, we'll take a look at the bed. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. <laughs> or a protector, at least. Alright, let's go back out. We'll talk to Doug. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Hmm. Uh, no, he wasn't. It's complicated. Yeah, he was. We'll go it's if it's complicated. complicated. Sometimes things happen, or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Alright. Um, we'll be nice. Let's give them the other power bar. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Try to be. Alright, let's see if we can scavenge up that other battery as we do another loop around the store. Ah, here we go. Battery. Perfect. And then we can put the batteries in, then we'll talk to Doug. Clem's in there. What about... Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? Alright, what's Glenn got to say? So, I'm down at that motor in, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? get some supplies for the group and a bunch of the roman ones got the jump on me i'm hiding over here but they won't leave what's up glenn's trapped out at the motor inn hey glenn we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you all right <sighs> awesome i'll sit tight till then sounds good i'm gonna hold on to this until we get glenn back okay i'll take good care of it what do you think i think doug's not great around zombies and you got your family here I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's search back here. Nothing back here. Clem's doing great. No food in the box. Let's, uh, we'll repair the radio. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. All right, let's see what's going on. Still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Did you? Have a look at that thing. Did you power it on? Head. Or the antenna? I wonder if it's because the antenna's not up. No, the antenna's up. Um, let's flip it over. We've got the batteries in there, right? Yep, two batteries. Uh, pa oh, they got to flip one around. There we go. All right, positive, positive, negative, negative. All right, that should be good now. Let's try this. Hmm. 
There we go. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh oh. Oof, that is heavy. Well, I think this is a fantastic place to stop before we venture outside and try and save Glenn. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below what you think is going to happen when we try and save Glenn, when we try to go get the keys off our brother trapped under the light pole, anything, I, anything like that. I would love to hear it from you guys. Uh, if you want to get all this great content on time in orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. If not, I'll see you in the next The Walking Dead The Game video. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in The Walking Dead The Game. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, go back and check those out. I'll give you a few seconds to jump off here. If not, we're going to continue on. So, in the previous episode, we've been kind of exploring the pharmacy. We got the radio working. There was a, a very disturbing last radio call from, from Carly's station. Uh, and we, we've kind of got a plan where we're going to go down and rescue Glenn from the, from the motor in. Uh, so I think it's going to be uh, Lee and Carly that head down, and Clem, Kenny, and his family, and Doug are going to stay here. So let's go ahead and talk to Carly and head on that way. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. All right, looks like we're going to go out the a different door and here's the here's the motel. Let's see if we can rescue Glenn here. Get down. Someone in their their letterman jacket there it looks like. Let's see, we got a camper, 1 2 3 I see at least three walkers. I sure did. Is that Glenn there? Be ready to shoot. God. There he is. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We got to go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. <laughs> I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving <laughs> her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> All right. So we got the two walkers up there. One guy there. Ooh, there's a fire axe. We might need to uh, to grab that fire axe here in a second. A couple other walkers. All right. So what's the plan here, Lee? Okay. <laughs> attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. So let's see. Peek over the wall with W. Uh, Glenn, Carly. Let's see. Peek for too long and you'll be seen. Okay, so we got to go back down. Um, I want to get to that fire axe at I'm some point. There, trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. All right, let's talk to. I want to move down so a little I'm bit. Looking on the other side of that car. Let's move down. Let's move down here. Can we? Here we go. One right there. We're behind the truck now. Perfect. Let's take a peek inside the truck. Alright, let's take a peek in there. There's a screwdriver. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quiet. All right, let's try the handle. Can we try the handle? 
Door's locked, of course. Uh, okay, can we go down a little bit more? No, that's as far as we can go. Um, let's look up here. Or, okay, let's spin to the left. That's what we gotta do. We got that guy there. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. <laughs> Alright, can I look? There's a can. Alright, Lee, what do we got? What do we got? I guess let's talk to... Going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others with the screwdriver so i guess we're gonna have to break this window all right let's quietly break the window Ow. hey man that drew some attention be careful yeah well we're gonna have to do it again because we need that screwdriver i think unless well yeah let's get the screwdriver i'm done trying to punch out window okay i guess lee doesn't want to do that we've already tried the car door um Let's head... What do we want to do, Lee? I guess let's head back over there. Um, there's got to be something else. Is there anything to the left? There's a pi oh, the pillow. Okay, let's take this pillow and see if we can use that to break the window. Good luck smothering them to death. <laughs> That's not really what I have in mind. Okay, so we got a pillow. Um, we can move to the RV. Let's move over there. Or is this guy going to see us? Alright, I would really like to get to... Oop, let's tuck back in. Alright, can we get to the... No, we can't. Alright. We're going to head back over to the brick wall, and then we'll go around and use the pillow to break out the window. Getting a little intense, Lee. Alright, and we're gonna head back over here. Back to the truck. Two walkers up there. We really want to get into that room. The stairs are over there. Alright, now let's see if we can use the pillow on the window here. There we go. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay, so then what are we going to use the pillow for? If that's not... Do, do, do... Can I smother this one, I guess? Maybe punch this one out? Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. And then we'll move the car, I guess? Okay, that was quiet. Was sick! They didn't seem to notice that too much. Okay, so let's push car, open the door here, I guess. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. The light's popped on. Uh, we'll take the spark plug. What that's going to be useful for, I have no clue. Anything else? Let's see, gear shift. All right, let's put it in neutral, and then we'll use it as, I guess, a rolling barricade. Should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Alright, and let's just go ahead and push the car. Okay, we're gonna push it into this guy. And that'll get us the fire axe. Squash him. That was awesome. There's the crying of the girl. Alright, um let's take a look here. Can we get we don't have the pillow anymore. So now we should be able to sneak around probably to get to that fire axe? Or are we gonna use the pillow? Do we gotta, or are we out of the pillow? We don't have the pillow anymore, we have the spark plug. I wonder if we can do anything with the RV. Let's uh, go over there. That guy's still not noticing anything. All right, anything up here? Not necessarily. That guy's still there. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. Well, there's only if I had a weapon. Only one. What's Glenn got? We'll make it out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. No. Um. Let's. No. Okay. Let's head back over to the wall. Man, I don't know what to do. 
Leave a comment on down below if you guys got an idea. Not that it's going to help me long term. Pop back down. Is there something we can do with this guy? No. There's got to be something we're missing here. They really want to get into that room. Yes, they do, Lee. All right, let's head back over to the truck. That guy's dead. There must th I gotta be missing something. Um, let's head back to the... Maybe I can smash the window now? Alright, dude. Let's see those ninja rocks. Ninja what now? You picked up that spark plug to shatter that window, right? What the hell are you talking about? Let me see the spark plug. Ah, okay. These things turns car windows to tissue paper. What is? Well, okay. We'll use the broken spark plug to. Damn. Okay. We're just breaking windows with spark plugs. Grab that screwdriver. That should allow us to take out a couple of them, right? That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, let's take a gander over here, and then now we should be able to work our way around. We could take this one out with the screwdriver, get the one behind the RV. We got that one pinned, and then that'll get us the axe. I think that's the route we're going to go. Um, okay, let's look up and over. Let's screwdriver this one. Get him, Lee. Right in the back of the head. Down you go. Okay, now same thing with this one here, hopefully. Let's check our inventory. We still got that screwdriver. We're going to screwdriver this one. Ooh, a little whistle. Bring him on over. Wait for it. Wait for it. And, oh, right in the chest. That's not where we want it. We want to put that right in the head. Okay, second time's a charm with that one, Lee. Beautiful. So we got the one pinned. This one should be easy. And then a nice axe. All right, let's screwdriver you to death. Ooh, through the head, nasty stuff there. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> okay, someone's a little impatient. We'll grab that fire axe. Two more. That should help. Indeed, it should. Let's go. Uh, let's go take care of them. Go ahead and walk Lee up there. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. All right, up we go. All right, Lee, you got this. I believe in you. Just don't miss that first swing. All right. Easy does it. Easy does it, Lee. Why am I not swinging? There we go. Down goes one. Come to Poppy for the second. And down goes the second one. Ooh. Rad. All right, let's talk to this person in the boarded up room. See what they have to say here. Uh, do we knock? I don't want to just like start hammering away with the ax. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Okay, a little B&E. All right, we'll use the fire axe to uh, knock that board off there. How did it get boarded up? All right, is she bitten? Who is this? You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't <laughs> want that. It's not Christian. Please, 
Just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Come on, so we'll get help. What if you turn and come after us? All right. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You um. have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're... Satanic. Uh, you can't. No, we're not giving you the gun. Let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Right. Back up, please. Oh no! Oh no! What do we got going on here? There goes a nice tumble there. Jesus. Good old one-story fall. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Oof. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That was that was something there. Shit. Yeah. Here they come. Quite a few of them. Get in. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Which means going and uh, getting uh, the keys off our brother. But I think this is a fantastic place for us to go ahead and take a break here. Don't, thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrubs video here in The Walking Dead, the game. Uh, if you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this content on time and in orderly fashion. If you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. Give me a comment on down below what you think is going to happen next. Or, you know, let me know what your thoughts are on what just happened. If not, we'll see you in the next video. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in The Walking Dead The Game. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, I highly recommend it. There was a tense scene at the end. Uh, I'd like to hear you guys' comments, so leave me a comment on down below. Like, what do you think or how do you think uh, Glenn, Carly, and Lee, how they handled that situation, what you would have done in that situation. Uh, I would really like to hear that. So now that we're back from the motel, we're here at the pharmacy. Now we got to get the medicines for, um, oh, what's this guy's name over here? I forgot him and his daughter, um, Lily, and I think his name's Leonard or Larry or something like that. I don't know. I remember they were both L names. Um, so if you remember from the first uh, or a couple episodes ago, Glenn's back. Hi, Glenn. Um, Doug and I, or Doug and Lee, uh, went out the door and saw my brother over there. We suspect the keys are on my brother under that light post. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to get those out. So let's talk to Doug here. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? No, not now, because we know we know right. what we need to do. Um, let's let's talk to Glenn, because I suspect Glenn's going to be the one we want to go out with us. So hello, Glenn. How are you doing, Glenn? You know. Uh, back at the motor end, do you know combination lock outside? What's your next move? Let's take back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Hmm. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you? People can't be giving up yet. It's a waste of a bullet. Let's say, would you? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. 
Uh, let's see. Do you know the combination to the lock you outside? Know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. <laughs> You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Okay, so that's how we're going to get to to the outside. Let's we'll just see what Glenn's next move is. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Hmm. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so I think I just figured out what we're going to do. So we got the TV remote, right? We need to get the... Do we need to get the batteries out of the radio, maybe? Um, no, we can't do anything with the radio. So we need to figure out how to turn the TV... Because remember, there's the TVs across the way. So if we turn the TVs on, that distracts, and we can run over and get the keys out of our brother that's pinned under the, the light pole here. Um, let's, let's talk to Carly, see if we can take the batteries out of the radio. Uh, story of the century, are you okay? Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. <laughs> you do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, you don't have to be, really. Everyone's dead. You don't have to be. It's dramatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> all right, so we took concern. That's nice of us. Um, let's go back to the, let's see, magazines, greeting cards, um, newspaper clippings, Doc Kenny. Um, let's go back to the office. There's got to be some batteries or something hidden away. Um, like I said, we got to figure out how to turn those... T I think that's what we'll have to do, is turn those TVs on across the way. Um, door to pharmacy. I could try and break the door open, but that looks like that's a pretty secure door. Um, the bed. Let's see if we can turn the TV on, maybe. Okay, that's so... What I figured. So it already works, so we don't even have to put batteries in. So let's go back. Okay. Bingo. We got what we're doing. Let's go back out, and then go out with Doug... And we will um, see if we can get those keys. We'll talk to Kenny first. What's up, Ken? Or the family first. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are going to rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. <laughs> you got it. Okay, so not much from them. All right, let's go back and talk to Doug here. And we'll head outside and see what type of damage we can do. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Of course. Yes, let's have let's a, have a let's, let's have a gander, shall we, Doug? See what type of damage we can do. All right, so we got quite a few walkers. Um, let's see if we can. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? We'll show him the photo here. Found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. All right, so Doug's on board now. Long, right? nah, just a few seconds. Maybe 30... there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, we'll. Um, so we got the brick, right? So let's let's turn the TV on, and then maybe we grab the. Can we grab the Can't brick now? That brick. No. So we'll do. Tim's tools. So what if we do TV, brick, throw the brick at the window, and then, well, we'll have to break the lock. So we'll do, please, brother. Um, okay, so let's do, let's do TVs first. Then we'll see if we can break the lock here. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's Mr. IT. He's going to fix it for us. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. Come on, you Doug. Just do that. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Hmm. Let's try. Ah, there we go. Some static. Well, fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. 
Who's to say it already hasn't? Hmm. All right, so hopefully they start to head that way. Then we can jimmy the lock here with our axe. Take notice. But not enough. All right, so we'll have to. All right, let's. Let's. Well, Lee, why doesn't Lee know the combo? Alright, let's go ahead and just break this. Alright, so that's broken open now. So now we should be able to get the brick. Let's see. Alright, let's grab the brick. Alright, we're going to have to open this. Guess we're opening it all the way. Really, we just need enough to grab the brick. All right, and then boarded up windows. All right, let's hurl the brick at the the TVs there. All right, so hopefully between the breaking of the glass and the blare of the TVs, that takes some of them over there. Now's the time. All right, let's go, Lee. All right, let's run over there. I guess we're walking. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? A little pep in your step there, bud. All right, we're going to have to mercy kill our own brother. Or are we just going to leave him? If you were there, you would have died for them. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Jeez. Yelling across the, the thing. Sorry I wasn't here. I shouldn't have left. Um, I'm, sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. Lee has a little remorse. To take care of All right, Lee. I believe in you. Good job, Lee. That must have been rough. Hm. All right, one one quick swift to the head, man. You know that. Why are you doing the neck? Do the do the skull. You're just making this last longer than it needs to. There you go. Alright. Let's get the keys, shall we? There we go. Alright, let's get back inside before uh, things get crazy here. Why is he yelling? Well, we don't have a lock to lock that. And you guys left it like a jar. Close it up, put a little cloth on there. That'll help a little bit. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. All right, let's get that nitroglycerin. All right, Lee got the key. Oh, we gotta ax the door now. All right. All right. Let's see what type of drugs we got. Oh, that's not good. We gotta hurry. That's not good. It's time to go, boys and girls. screwdriver action there it's gonna bring everyone in town walking this way so 
So as this is uh, gearing up, why don't you guys leave me a comment on down below what you think is going to happen with the gang here. Because uh, I suspect things are going to go from bad to worse. Doc, come on baby, time to go. I'm going to get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. i got to get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. So then what am I supposed to use? Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Start barricading, guys. Stay away from the windows. Better yet, Clem, why don't you get in the office with Duck and them? What'd she say? There we go. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that... I think you're a great guy. Ah, thanks, Doug. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... Come on, there we go, Lee. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Shit! That you're about to get bitten. Are you sure? Shit! What? Oh, shit! Popping shots. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Oh, the cane, the cane, the cane, go, Clem. The cane! Clementine, did you find anything? The cane! Oh, wait! The window is screwed! Go! Alright, come on, Lee, you got this. Close that door, Lee, come on. There we go. I found something! Yes, we'll use the cane. Alright. That'll hold the doors for a little bit. Wait, oh man. Um, um we're gonna save Carly. Um we'll save Carly. She's got the mag. Quick reload. Bye, Doug. Oh my God. Let's go. They got Doug. Oh no, Clem, Clem, no, 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 no. Get the screwdriver. Grab the screwdriver, Lee. Get out of here, Clem. Whoa! All right, Larry, you're now on my shit list. Whoever you are. Oh, Kenny! <laughs> We're actually a good friend. All right, let's get the hell out of Dodge, shall we? Kenny, my man, coming back to save us. Yeah, we're back at the motel. Oh, there's the gal. A little barricade action there. They got the cars in the way. Traveler Motel. Oof. All right, well, I think that's another fantastic place for us to take a break there. Uh, quite a bit going on here in the Walking Dead game. If you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and orderly fashion. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. And as always, leave me a comment on uh, what you think's going on, what you think's going to happen. I'd love to hear that from you guys. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in 
The Walking Dead, the game. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, I highly recommend going back and checking them out because things are getting real here with Lee, Clementine, and the rest of the gang. Uh, we just escaped the pharmacy. Lee saved Carly. Uh, and now we're all here and probably settling in for a little bit, it looks like. So we're going to take a few seconds, walk around, talk to everyone. Uh, maybe not this jerk over here. Uh, but let's talk to Glenn and Katya, Kenny, Duck, Clem, and see what everyone has to say. Um, Carly's over there. Okay, so we'll we'll start with Glenn here. I think I need to go. To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there. Hmm. I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. So that's how Glenn's gonna get into the TV series. I gotta take my chances. Okay, we understand. I think that's right. You gotta do what you gotta do. Find your friends. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. <laughs> Don't think about that, Glenn. That's the past. Gotta let it go, man. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, the bumper sticker on that truck there, but uh, sums up the whole situation they're Thank currently you. going through. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today... I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Okay. So let's go talk to... Let's go talk to Carly here, I think. Yeah, that's what it's pushing us towards. Let's go talk to Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering... I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. <laughs> I'm sure he liked you too. I'm sorry, Carl. You'll be alright. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Little space, little Wait. time. Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We Oof. both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Okay, Carly asking the hard-hitting questions. Let's go talk to the kids, see what they have to say. Yeah, you just stand over there and pout. Toast, but you know what? You jerk. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Aww. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie, so it can't help us. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll get that patched Thanks. up for you. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. <laughs> and now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. 
I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Mm. Let me go deal with this. <laughs> oh man, Clementine, another thing. <laughs> what do you want? You like my daughter? Uh, her dad tried to kill me. Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Didn't I get all that medicine for you, my man? Hey, and you're going to be an ass about it? Do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. At least someone recognizes that. Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Hmm. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me National too. Guard getting into action. It's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. <laughs> Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Ah, uh, you just jinxed it. You just jinxed it, Lily. As oh, there goes the power. To be continued. Is that the end of the episode? Wow. All right. The next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. <laughs> I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. <laughs> An arrow? We're going back. Oh, that guy just took an arrow in the back. Jeez. Oof. Episode 2 Starve for Help. All right, well, I'm excited for us to, to check that out. Well, I guess this will be a short episode. We're only at like eight minutes. Um, let's see. Ooh, we got a breakdown of everything we've done. Okay, honesty, lied to Herschel. You and 63% of people were honest. Okay, uh, 40, okay, about split on Duck versus Sean. Loyalty to Kenny. You and 48% of players defended, players defended Kenny. Uh, Mercy, gave Irene the gun. Okay, about half of us refused to give her the gun. Uh, and then 76% of players chose to save Carly. Well, probably because this is mostly men or boys playing this game. And, of course, they're going to save the woman. Uh, so let's go ahead and click to continue, see if there's anything else we get to see. Or is it going to pop us into the next episode? No, we're going to get the credits for the first episode. Well, I think that's a fantastic place to stop. I know this episode's short, but um, I think we'll try and break this down uh, into their episodes as well too. So thank you so much for coming out and watching this video. If you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion. Don't forget to like the video. And then, as always, leave me a comment on down below what you think's happening, uh, what's going on, what do you think's gonna happen in the next episode. That teaser, it, it showed us quite a bit, so I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, otherwise, if not, I'll let the credits roll and then I'll see you guys in the next episode.